Why do you kill the Hellions? Well, hell's bells. Not one to mince words now, are you? It's not the sort of thing you need to beat around the bush about. Fair enough. Plain and simple, it's just my style. You mean killing? If I gotta. There are some out there who can't be purified. Yeah. There are Hellions who can't go back to their original form. But even so, Saray promised he'd find a way to bring them back. With Edna. How shepherdly of him. Well, if he can't find a way, then he needs to take responsibility. As long as he does that, it's fine. Taking responsibility? To kill, you mean? No, not exactly. Meaning he needs to find his own answer. <gasps> that was pretty wise of me, right? They love me, they love me not. They love me, they love me not. They love me... What is it you're trying to find out? You know how I joined halfway? And like, after I did a bunch of not-so-nice stuff to you guys? I kinda wonder if everyone hates me. Well, what did you find out? Well, it looks like... Yeah, everyone pretty much hates me. Oh, come now. Saray and the others aren't like that. Yeah, he is the shepherd and all. Not to mention kind of a goody two-shoes. So maybe it's kind of meaningful that a guy like me tags along. Even if I'm not exactly welcomed. Then I'll do a little reading myself to see if you're truly welcome among us. A paper flower? That means there's only one petal. Zavid is our... friend, it says. Uh... <laughs> it's just some dumb fortune. Maybe, but my fortunes are never wrong. Mr. Shepard, where's Lila and the others? They went to the sauna to relax. Oh, snap! Saray, let's set up the sauna! Eh, maybe later. Come on, don't be such a buzzkill! We men need to be open and comfortable about things like this. You know, a naked relationship. Well, you are always half-naked, Zavid. I may look like an exhibitionist when it comes to my body, but the door to my heart is always closed. That's why I wanted to take this time to bond with you. You know, like, as an accomplice. Don't tell me you're going to read the wind to snoop around the girl's sauna. Oh-ho! You're pretty sharp after all, you no-good shepherd, you. I don't think this is a good idea. Someone's definitely going to notice. I don't want to grow up to be the kind of guy who views everything as a win-or-lose situation. The trickling sweat, the flushed red cheeks. There is a healthy, sublime beauty in this closed space we call a sauna. Saray, let's go hunting for babes. Ah, <sighs> that sure was therapeutic. Why don't you guys step in as well? You mean like this? That's not the kind of babe hunting I'm talking about! Huh? Zavid, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? I don't like that look on your face. Please, put some clothes on. It's just not right. I wish I could, toots, but it's part of my oath. Is that true? Yeah, that's the reason I've been traveling alone. It's not like you're the only one who's got an oath to follow, you know? You have one too, Edna? Yeah, to prevent my brother from leaving the mountains. I eat peanuts every day, an amount equal to my age. And I need to get a tan to shed a layer of skin at least once a month. Oh, I remember Dazzle saying something about an oath he had to keep his teeth all jaggedly sharp. I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> Look who's talking. But that's what the oath of the Seraphim is like, isn't it? Yes. We must keep the truth in our hearts. That's the nature of the oath.
Lila, check this out. Ta-da! Is this a picture or some kind of poster? Looks more like some kind of ad. A breath of fresh air into the fashion of the Seraphim. The latest trend from Sparrow Feather brand launches right now? What is this supposed to be? It's a new business targeting the Seraphim. You guys don't need food, but you need clothes, right? It's an untouched market, the perfect opportunity for a monopoly. This is it! I don't think the Seraphim are exactly hurting for new clothes. I like what I'm wearing already, too. Well, of course you do. You're totally behind the times. Behind? The times? No one asked what you think. That attitude is no good! Girls need to dress fashionably or you'll get left behind. It doesn't matter if you're Seraphim or human. No! Then what kind of clothes do you have for us? That's where you guys come in. I don't know what's all the rage among Seraphim these days. <sighs> huh? Aren't you too excited? I think you broke her. You okay, Lila? Behind... the times... Too late. <laughs> Great, Rose. Now look what you did. Huh? Me? Now what do we do? It looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavend. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. <sighs> Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright, let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> 